episode five. Episode five. Wow. We're really killing this thing. We, we, we in it now. For real, for we real. We in it. There's we no going back, we even if you it. want to. Yeah. I hope you don't want to. I don't want to. Good. I want to be here. Good answer. I want to be here. Yes. Awesome. I hope you all are doing well. Hope so. It's been a week. It's been a hard week, I'm sure. Mm. My, my. My, my. That got deep. Yeah. It's been hard. You struggling. <laughs> Dang, options are still few? I had to tell them they're struggling, yes. Okay. Yes. Tamala Man, option. if you don't know. Look it up. Look it up. We go into the, the king. king. All need, right. You need to go. Yes. You <laughs> but it's you okay, because you're here now. So right. we'll, we'll help The king guide. sent you here. We'll guide you, yes. All but right. Yes. How, how you been? I've been great. Been yeah? Great. How's That's the good. dream? The dream? Oh. Ooh. Ah! Ooh. Yes, I'm it. on it. Oh yes, the dream as well. Uh, we're prepping for our the video workshop that we're doing at the end of July. Yes, what's the date? What's the date? Ooh, July twenty fourth through the twenty ninth. Not you was about to attack me for not knowing the dates in my workshop. Literally, you saw it on my face. I saw it on your face. How do I know it? Not yes. just because I'm a stalker. But yes, but July July is a busy month for BKP. Mm-hmm. We're doing a lot of stuff. Uh, we're doing uh, we're doing stuff with Charlotte Black Pride. Ah! Um, we'll be at every event doing like video and stuff i did their recap last year haven't been back this year um so yeah we got a we got a good amount of stuff going on in july um we got the queen sugar bash that event is whatever the saturday before the 29th is i can't Sixth. remember maybe something let's see but i don't know we'll be there we gonna we're gonna we're gonna be out there it is the 22nd we will be okay. out there at the queen sugar bash so you know there's loads of events that that week you know come out get your tickets Celebrate, okay. have fun, have a blast. So you said that the see me with the camera. <laughs> the workshop is the twenty fourth through the 29th. Correct. So like, I'm asking like I don't know. Mm-hmm. So like, what's going on those days? Like what? Oh, oh, All these oh, days, oh, like she, what, she what's going to be happening? Want me to explain? Do you tell. Me to tell. Yes. So, um, the first day we are going to be in studio in this lovely place, okay. and we're going to be kind of breaking down what it takes to do um, video production and. Uh, you know the the basics the basics okay we, we got one day we're gonna teach you the basics okay and then we are also going to plan out what we want um our short film to be that we are going to produce during that week because we're going to do a short film i'm going to have the general stuff kind of already set up and we're going to just kind of get it more established um and figure out exactly what we want to do and then tuesday wednesday we will be out filming it Thursday and Friday, we will be doing post production and developing a trailer and stuff like that. And then Saturday, we will be premiering said short film at a movie theater. Boom! So, if you want to do that, if that sounds fun, if you've always wanted to do video and don't know nothing about it, or if you know what you're doing and you just want to, you know, come and make a short film in a week and then dip, you know, <laughs> let's do it. We do right. we're doing it all. Um, it's two hundred dollars. That's a steal. Buy your spot. What? Buy your spot. Period. That's it. Yeah. Okay. Education. You get a little book. Take with you. <laughs> Not a little book. You do. You get a little <laughs> book. I wrote it. Yeah. Still writing it technically, but it'll be done. <laughs> oh, God. I, we've been transparent. <laughs> right. We've been transparent. I'm still writing it. It'll be okay. done by the time you get here. It will be done by the time you get here. It will be in your hands. So There yes. you go. So reserve your spot today. We said options are few. Spots are few. Okay. Spots, spots a few. I've and tried so, to pray. Have you? Exactly. Don't have, you don't pray. Just go to the website and buy your buy your spot. <laughs> and there you go. There it is. But yeah, there you go. That is how the dream is going. We are prepping for all of that. So awesome. Yeah. Indeed. How's your dream? Dreams great. We're still working in the salon. Get you like it in this space? It. I love it. Okay. I absolutely love it so much. I'm glad you feel. Yes. That. Um, just the spot you in feels like a little neighborhood. Like inside of the place, it feels yeah, like a little it, neighborhood. It, it's nice. It does. And I absolutely love that. Um, it makes me feel very independent. Like I have my own space. Yeah. Without have to actually have my own space. I if that like makes it, sense. It's not your own building, but it's your oh, own correct. spot inside of the thing, but it still feels like your own building inside of the thing. My own mini building. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Um love it. Less Company Apparel. Absolutely. Shop your beauty tees. Go buy um, go buy a t shirt. Yes, we've been working on getting products out and getting ready for the free master class. If you want to learn how to do nails for free, mm-hmm. um, July 29th, 9 a.m. Don't play. Be there or be square. And you all want to be square, so be there. So you want to tell them about the the, the what? The, the 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 Oh, the kit? The, the, what? the, the what can they buy? 
What's the name of that? Oh, the product? Yes. I- I'm like, huh? See, I was just, I wasn't gonna tease it. I was like, are we? They, they out, like, right? Now, what happened to my fingernail? No, we, we can do that, right? They, they out. We, we, right. we doing the things. Yes. yes. So we do have products out. There you can is. get a Lux nail drill. It's a portable, well, look, a portable e file, mm-hmm. and. We also have our tropical rose hand oil and body oil. Let me tell y'all. <laughs> Let me tell you. Hold on. Actually, hold on. Don't show him that one because that's the old packaging. Never mind. I'm old. We have. But I was about to show you. See, I was about to wrap the products. I was about See, to be a real model. I can't do it. We have. She we said have. You ain't up to date. No, we have revamped packaging coming. Mm-hmm. But you like Apple just new stuff every year. We it ain't got to. Year. I mean, we, oh, I love it, but I'm like, man, make me feel old. But okay. We've sold out two. Twice. And now this third restock, we are going to be adding sizes because everybody's saying they're tired of buying the mini bottles. So I'm going to make bigger bottles. That's what I had. Yes, you had them. I'm, I'm about to need some more, too. Okay. So see. I was about to show about empty bottles, but it's okay. See, yeah, I'm going to handle that. Um, we are going to have four ounces and eight ounces and 16 ounces. And, um, yeah, so basically the nail part is going well. Now it's just focusing on getting the products and the website and all of that I love in that. order. I love that. Yeah. That's amazing. Well, as you can see, the dream is going well. The dream yep. is dreaming. The dream that's, is dreaming. That's a t-shirt. That's a t-shirt. The, the for is. sure. I'm going to have to go back through these episodes and actually write down what we said t-shirts what? were. And then we're going to have to go through. Y'all talking about, yeah, we're talking about Lux Company Apparel. We're going to be talking about Chasing the Dream Apparel. Correct. At some point. One keep, day. Keep watching. Tell your neighbor. Tell your friends. Tell your dog. <laughs> Amen. Woof, woof. Hallelujah. All right. Okay. Topic number one. Number one. This is all you. This is all me, baby. Okay, so listen. You tried to test me, right? I did. You tried to test me a few weeks ago mm-hmm. on what would I like to get rid of with my shows one's and gotta my go. foods. One's got to go. So I'm asking you, one's got to go. You want to know? I apparently. You can be rhyming. Apparently, I do. So, okay, um, so the first thing we're going to do for one's. Gotta go. Yes. I'm nervous. I'm scared. Artists. Music. So that's something that you absolutely love. That's something that we bond over. Okay. So I have a few artists. Okay. We're going to go through, see who's got to go and who we end up with at the end. I'm about to be hurt. See, <laughs> hopefully, uh, I will. I will. I'm, I'm believing I will be successful. I'm going to meet all these people, and I'm going to have to confront them about why they had to go. Correct. They're going to be like, oh, yet. you let me go? We're not there yet. Okay. So, so right now, it's okay. Yeah. All right. So... The first four, the starting four. Mm, the lineup. Hard your call. Oh. <laughs> that hurt. I got you. All right. All right. Pentatonix. <sighs> All right. Charlie Puth. Oh. Kirk Franklin. Not you through my boy Kirk and Dana. Okay. All right. So who's the first to get out of here? I feel attacked. As you should. I feel, I feel, I feel targeted. <laughs> That's how I feel. I feel. Okay. Who do you think is going to go first? I personally think it's going to be Kirk. I ain't even going to lie to you. <laughs> <laughs> I think Kirk got to move. <laughs> Kirk got to move. But you let me know. Okay. So, Kirk is not going to go first. Because not Mr. P. Think about I have to think about if I'm if I'm looking at all of these artists, I have to think about the impact that people have had across my whole life. I don't listen Kirk to had the most I don't I don't listen to as much Kirk at this point, but I can sing any Kirk Franklin song that you turn on. I can also sing any Charlie Puth song, but I've been singing Kirk since I was in the Correct. Since I was in the womb, I've been singing Kirk. So Correct. for that reason. Kirk's Charlie though. Puth, uh, Charlie Puth's got to go first. All right, Mr. Although, Puth. Ch- Charlie Puth. Now, I mean, he he up there, but yeah, no, Charlie Puth ain't. I mean, you pick. Yeah, All I'm right. sorry. Go yeah. move along. All right. So now there's Pentatonix, there's Todrick Hall, and there's Kirk. Franklin. What do you do? You want to go to our next group and then bounce back and forth between, or you want to stay on these? We're going to stay. Okay, we're going to stay. All right. If you're putting these three in a lineup, Kirk is next. Kirk is next. Kirk has, I don't know if I have the, the bigger 
group of songs and stuff like that. But nowadays, I don't listen to Kirk as much. Okay. Um, I still love me some Kirk, though. For like sure. Like I said, I could put on every song and stuff like that. But for the stage of my life that I'm in right now, I listen to these other artists more, and their impact is felt more. But if I need a praise, I'm going to Kirk. Period. Or okay. Somebody, Hezekiah, somebody. 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 But Kirk, yeah. Marvin. Kirk, Kirk, is, Kirk is next. Okay. Pentatonics, Tydrick Hall. You don't even know who I'm going to put neck and neck, do you? Or do you think you know? I definitely know. I don't think I know really? nothing. Yeah, I know. Hmm. Who do you think's coming out on top? No, I'm not telling you. I'm, I'm going to tell y'all at the end if I was right. Okay. Um. I think I'm glad you know because I don't know. No, I know. Um, Tydrick Hall is second. Pentatonix is first. I was right. Okay, cool. And the reason is, one, because... One, because there's five members of Pentatonix. So there's something to love about every last one of them. There's more. Also, Pentatonix has gotten me through. Through. Yeah. You don't think acapella can get you through? Some of y'all. Some of y'all. This is is a testimony. Just for this this camera right here. Yeah, exactly. You don't think acapella can get you through. Mm. And maybe it can't for you. (laughs) Maybe it can't. Maybe it's Kurt for you. But at a point in my life, at many points in my life, no matter what I'm feeling, I can throw on me some pentatonics. They got me. Period. They got me. Even when Avi left, he did us, he didn't do us wrong. But he, I better say. He threw us for a loop. And then they got mad in there. They they got, they got, still had me. You know, if we they ever do like a live version, maybe they'll watch this and want to perform. We can't afford them. <laughs> I don't care how much I love them. They ain't showing up. They're not coming. I'm so sorry, but Pentatonix okay. ain't showing up for me. But, yeah, no, it's definitely Pentatonix and, and then Todrick after. However, Todrick's work ethic and his creativity, that me and, me and Todrick Hall have a, well, we ain't got no kind of relationship because he don't know who I am. But <laughs> um, I have a, it's, it's all love, but I have a love-hate relationship with Todrick's creativity because every idea that I have, he does it before me. No. And, it, and it gets on my ever last nerves. It ever la- I will I will be thinking of some clever great idea and then I'll open my YouTube feed and it's Todrick Hall this and I'm like thank you Todrick. Thank you. You're in my head. I appreciate for, that. For stealing the ideas out of my head. But yeah, but no. If I if anybody on that list I like had to make a music video for, I've been saying for years I want to I want to make a Pentatonix music video. I would love to go on tour with Pentatonix. I'd love to go on tour with Todrick too. But I would love to go on tour with Pentatonix. They do like the documentary stuff with like the uh, on YouTube when they like go on tour. They do like vlog and like docu style stuff. I would love to do some of that. I would love to do photography for them. But the same with Todrick. So really just a toss up. And I mean, they know each other. Todrick is friends with Pentatonix. So it's not like it's really all the same kind of group and stuff. They just do like different types of stuff. But nah, that's Pentatonix. That's my group. Period. That's gonna be my group. Love that. Okay. Yeah. So we did music. The next one is Apple products. Okay. Mm, okay. 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 I'm a little so, nervous. So you should be because many I, of them I don't have. So. All right. Now. But, yeah. Okay. If all these items were being given for free, oh. would you rather have a new Apple iPad, a new Apple MacBook, the new Apple VR set? Ooh. Or a Apple 4K camera that they even exist. I know, but what if they made one? Okay. Mm. Would you like me to read them for you again? No, I got it. iPad, okay. MacBook, Vision Pro, and a camera. A first camera. one, for, first one that's got to go is the camera. Well, dang. Because. I've already got, for those of you who don't know, our main angle here is a Sony FX3. And that thing shoots in 4K at 120 frames. I don't know what none of that means. Exactly. But the people who know, they know. The FX3 is the best camera that I've ever used, best camera that I've ever owned. Apple ain't going to make nothing that beats this camera because if I'm going higher than this camera, it's going to be like, you don't notice, but it's going to be like either a Black Magic or it's going to be a bigger Sony Cinema camera, either the FX6 or the FX9. Um, it, it's going to be a red camera, like a cinema camera. Like it's going to be like we're going up. We're, we're going up to like bigger cinema cameras. And 
Apple would not step in the realm of mm -hmm. where I need to go next. So for that reason, I would take the camera out first. So camera's got to go first. And then in that lineup, it would probably be, um, what was the third one? Oh, Vision Pro is winning this, like hands down. Vision Pro is winning. The next thing would be the iPad that's got to go. And then, hmm, actually, iPad's got to go first, then the camera second, then the MacBook, and then the, you, the Vision Pro. Keep the I'm keeping VR the Vision print. Pro. Yeah. Ain't nothing going to beat that. Period. Okay. They, yeah. They going to have a hard time making something in the future that beats that, unless it's like another model of that. They, they, they hitting the peak. Yeah. So I think that's, yeah, that's, that's, that's definitely it. But those were good. Yeah. Musicians. Okay. Apple. Okay. So yeah, we're going to, I'm going to have to come back at you now. I'm going to have to come back at you now. I guess Topic number three. You trying to skip ahead. We topic number two. Oh, we topic number two? See, yes. We topic number two. Oh my goodness. Look All at me. Right. Topic number two. Would you rather? Would I rather? We're doing more. We did some of these last week. Yep. They were fun. I enjoyed them. Hopefully you enjoyed them on the social medias or on the, if you watch the episode in full, hopefully you enjoyed that. We're going to do a couple more because these were fun. Okay. All righty. Would you rather? Some of these are a little harsh. Not harsh. Some of these are a little, no option is a good option. Oh, <laughs> it's the lesser of two evils. All righty. Would you rather vomit on your hero or have your hero vomit on you? I'm going to go with Vomit on My Hero because I've already done that. Do we get a story? Oh, <laughs> sorry. Um, Well, my hero is my father, <laughs> and I've puked on him numerous of times. So I'm cool. I'll keep doing that because you ain't going to puke on me. Okay. okay. See, when they say hero, I feel like I interpret that as a hero that I have never like yet to meet yet. Oh, like there's famous, no like, other hero in my life. Person. I'm not gonna phrase it as like hero because like oh I, I'm a I'm gonna look at it as like famous person hero. because um, some people view it like that, and in that case, they I'm can definitely puke on. Me. I'm having that person puke on me, not because I want them to, because now I got something over you. Maybe you might feel bad now, and I might be a part of your group. <laughs> be like, well, you know yeah. what? You, you, here's some free tickets. You want to come backstage? I'm so sorry. Yeah. Yeah. I definitely feel like I would let Doja Cat puke on me. For there sure. you go. Yeah. I took it to mean like more famous person, less hero. Cause like, yeah. 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 Cause they, you puke on them. They ain't ever going to talk to you again. Ever. No. I might even be banned. They might take my fingerprints. Security will tackle you. For sure. While you are in the process. You might vomit on puking. security. Oh yeah. No. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. yeah. So that's, that's a no go. Alrighty. So would you rather be royalty a thousand years ago or an average person today average person today why an average person today um because this sound this is gonna sound so bad but i am royalty Ooh. it doesn't matter like what time period a b c a d it does not matter okay like yeah okay like you treat me like a princess. My father treats me like a queen. I'm set. So, but what's your answer? I mean, I can be royalty all I want to, but I ain't got royalty money. So, <laughs> I also, I haven't done the math. What is a thousand years ago? You might have got to meet oh, our Lord and Savior. This would have been one thousand AD. What was oh, happening? Yeah. What was happening? That's in after death. What was, Am I? What was happening? <laughs> in 1023 AD. Ooh. 1023. Uh, it started on a Tuesday. Okay. <laughs> Just going up on a Tuesday. They felt They yeah, they they felt the need to tell me that. Um, events. Um, the grand visor of the mm -mm. Oh, somebody was executed January 16th. Let's hope it wasn't you back in the day. They started off, man. They, yeah, they was chopping. I mean, yeah, no, this seems pretty, uh, pretty bare bones society. I don't know if I actually want to be back in this day, but I mean, yeah, no, nah, I'm good. I'm seeing a lot of not fun. Yeah, I'm going to make my money today. 
<laughs> I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and stick to to, to right now. <laughs> There's too many people I don't know. You know how when you look at the history book, oh, I remember you. That's too far back. I don't know who none of y'all are. Um, I right. don't know if you want to be a part of that clip. No, I don't. I don't. I really don't. Um, all right. Would you rather spend mm-hmm. a week in the forest at night or in a real haunted house? A real haunted house? A real, like, you know it's haunted. It's ghosts in there. Or the forest for a week. Yep. Do I have the necessary things to survive in the forest or am I just stranded in the forest? Or did I choose to go to the forest? You chose to go to the forest. But it's not like you got a house in the forest. No, I'm just like you're camping like, in the forest. You're like camping in the forest, prepared. Or you're camping in a haunted house, prepared. Or living in a haunted house, prepared. I'm I'm going to the forest. Oh, why the forest? Um, well, one, because my favorite um animal is an alligator. And I'm hoping that it's a tropical rainforest, so maybe I could be closer to their habitat and possibly meet one and take one home. Oh, you go meet one. But... You gonna meet some teeth? <laughs> yeah, girl, bye. Y'all be thinking alligators are so dangerous; they just want to be loved. But no, they want their stomachs <laughs> to feel love, and their love is you down their throat. I gotta send you some videos; they're really nice. Like they, I'll send you some videos back too. <laughs> Don't worry. It'll make you change your whole tune. Shut up. <laughs> your whole tune. Be Don't prepared. We're going to the 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 little thing where you get to like take the tour with the alligators for mm-hmm. my birthday and you get to like be on the boat and the alligators come up on the boat uh-huh. and then you get to feed them and all of that. Do you get to pet them? If you choose to, I will, will pet them. You don't have to pet them. Yeah. I can't remember what it's called. Like the, I can't remember, but it's in Florida. Yeah. It's going to be great, but I would choose the rainforest for sure. Especially if I, I'm prepared. I mean, you know, I don't do bugs, but like you can kill them for me. I'm not there. <laughs> oh, you gonna be in Hunter House? Would you? <laughs> where would you like to spend a week? Not we. Oh well, somebody gonna have to go so they can kill the bugs. You. I'm still gonna be by myself. You. Like the song say, you. <laughs> don't, don't, don't. <laughs> Soldier boy ain't Tell gonna em. be there either. <laughs> yeah, no. You can't okay, kill well, the bugs. I'm you gonna, gonna kill. I'm gonna kill the bugs because I'm not gonna be in a haunted house by myself. Okay, but. You're forgetting that a forest is an actually dangerous place. No, I didn't forget. I didn't forget. Okay, I but, know it's dangerous. But you don't even know. I just said there were ghosts there, but you don't even know what the ghosts are going to do. I know. Okay. But I'm black. That's, that's, I don't care what the ghost is going to do. The, the, literally, the ghost could say, hi, do not fear. <laughs> not the Bible. I'm going to fear. They took the script from the Bible? Straight from Gabriel. Do not fear. Like, do not be afraid. Do not be afraid. The Lord, no. Are you screaming? Yes. I just, I don't care. Okay, like, now what happens if that same thing happens with a bear? Do not be afraid. The, the bear ain't gonna talk to me. At least, it's not. So you, it, it you, might so you more scared lick of a bear, his lips, so but. You, so you more scared of a bear that won't talk to you and just get down to business yes. than a ghost who actually wants to communicate with you. Absolutely. I'm sorry. I don't. That's why I don't watch, I watch scary movies. I don't do that demonic stuff that the ghosts. I don't do none of that. And I'm already an animal person. Yes, the rainforest is dangerous, but I'm an animal person. But are the animals people persons? That's that has nothing. I, I don't care. I don't care. You don't gotta be. Listen, if you gonna eat me, eat me, eat me. It's cool. Listen, I will put salt and pepper on myself, but I'm not about to be with no ghosts. I'm not doing it. Mm-mm. You you want me to dip myself in some honey mustard? I got you. I promise, I got you, Mister M- Black Bear. What? Yeah, I got you. Would you like some sweet tea with that? I'm not going in the haunted house. You would rather be Yogi Bear's dinner than chat it up with the haunted mansion in Disney World. That's I will crazy. be I will be Yogi Bear's snack. I will be Yogi Bear's breakfast. Picnic basket. <laughs> <laughs> Girl, okay, okay, okay. Wow. I'm All sorry. Right. And because you didn't say in Disney World, you said an actual I, haunted, an actual for, haunted uh, for house. real, for real. No. I did. So Mm-mm. you can't be in the haunted mansion with the ghost of Walt Disney. Absolutely not. Because I can't even go to a fake one. I can't even go to scare winds without being in tears. To to be in one where I know and this is think, for real, this ain't no joke. And you think you're going to run into an alligator in the wild and not be in tears? 
Absolutely not. In the wild. Not no little boat where they get to hop on and then you feed them and what? No, in the wild, an alligator running at you. But you it's not going to run at me. It's going to be like, oh, that shit was. And it's going to be like wanting to cuddle. It's not going to run at me. Y'all... Y'all, y'all gotta come, y'all, y'all. I, I am a, an, a, I am an animal whisperer. Okay, I can communicate with the animals the, the way y'all can't. That's why y'all understand. They, they understand me. They're not gonna eat me. They get me. I'm, yeah. This but ep- if they want to eat me, that's cool. But they're not gonna. This episode is called the Art of Delusion. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, y'all don't get it. It's okay. Next, would you rather find a rat in your kitchen? I'm going to let it sink in. A rat in your kitchen or a roach in your bed. Hey, Mr. Rat, how you doing? Rat in the kitchen versus a roach in the bed. Why are you acting confused? Because you know I don't do bugs. Correct. I know you don't do bugs, but you do rats now instead of bugs? Absolutely not. But I'm not going to change nothing for being able to do bugs. I uh, No. Mm-mm. Interesting. Okay. No. I, mm-mm. In my bed? In your bed. At least. Right in your kitchen. You ain't got no food no more. He ate that. That's cool. Oh. That, yeah. Because um, Walmart. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, Publix. Walmart got sheets too. Yeah, but they don't have dignity. They don't have, <laughs> they don't have, they don't have a new soul. Wow. On Al 12 that I can purchase because I was laying in the bed cuddling with a roach. I'm not. Nah. Okay. It's all right. Okay. Okay. Mm-mm. Would you rather lose all your teeth? <laughs> yeah, I had to wait for the. <laughs> <laughs> Woo, you got me. That thing slipped out. Woo, it flew out just like them teeth, boy. <laughs> Woo, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Go wow. ahead, go ahead. I'm sorry. Wow. Okay. Oh my God. Mm. <laughs> Okay, I'm ready. Would you rather lose all your teeth? Okay. Or lose a day of your life every time you kiss someone? <laughs> yep, yep. Well, it's the thing. So you got a I ain't about to be kissing nobody while I'm sitting there being a nummy bell. Come real fuck off. But, but, hear me out. Hear me out. I'm gonna let them teeth go, and I'm gonna tell you why. Okay. I'm gonna tell you why. Uh oh. <laughs> I'm nervous. I'm so nervous for this answer. No, it's it's real chill because, <laughs> um, I'm eventually losing my teeth. Let's be for real. You, Everybody. You probably will. Exactly. And what what you do? You get dentals. Yes. I'm gonna get some dentals, and I'm gonna kiss you. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Let me pop my teeth in real quick. Okay, because no, what I'm not about to do is miss out. Mm -hmm. Every time I kiss you? Every time. Nah. And you don't know how many days you got left to begin with. You could be going to die tomorrow, and then you kiss somebody, you dead. It's gone. I ain't even got the rest of my day and tomorrow. They traumatized for life. Nah. Kiss you drop dead. I'm be running from lips. They think they cursed. I want to kiss my baby. I want, mm -mm. nah. Running from lips? (laughs) I thought I read this question. And I thought you remember the act. Thought about good old Gypsy Rose <laughs> when her mama took all her teeth. Also, we she gets out soon. When does she get out? Is it this year? Was it next year? I don't remember. Go ahead and look that up for me, Pro- producer. You're gonna be the producer for this. I'm, I'm gonna name you the producer. Okay. I'm really the producer, but she's gonna be the producer for now because okay. I like talking to a producer. I like to pretend it's not me. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, because you can't talk to yourself. I, I mean, you're cool. Oh, I do it every day. But, okay. Period. But yes, but we she gonna get back with us on that answer. Okay. However. Yeah, I'm going I'm to go ahead and lose my teeth, too. Yeah. Yeah. December 31st of this year? Oh, she getting out right in time to party, honey. Ain't nobody trying to party with her. Maybe. You know what? Nah, I'm good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Chill out, bruh. Because I, mean, I don't want to have to smack be, her. To be fair, okay, she didn't kill her mama. If y'all don't know who we talking about, this ain't nobody we know. This is, no. if you didn't see the act on Hulu. You need to go watch it. Yes. So basically, I don't want to spoil it for y'all. Yeah, don't. Well, I kind of already did. Well, no, because all you said was she didn't kill her mama. Her mama died. Now we just got to figure out who. Go watch it to find out. Correct. But basically, she had a lot of stuff going on in her life. And then her mama died. 
but she in jail. And I'm going to just let y'all piece together the pieces when you figure it out. But it's a really good show. But she she technically she did not kill her mama. I'm not trying to hang out, but I'm not running. Like, she, right. she had, there was justifiable. Oh, very justifiable. I don't know about justifiable. No, but justifiable, there was, for sure. It's straight up. But. There was, there was reason. Correct. Why. Now, does that equate led. to something as far as death? She needed to get out. That's all I'm going to say. Right. She was living a horror movie, and she needed a way out. And normally at the end of the horror movie, the, Somebody villain, dies. Dies. the, the villain dies. And, um, yeah. She that, just happened to be the one that got got. There it is. So, yeah. But go watch the act if you haven't seen the act. Because that's a good non-spoiler review. Yeah. And it's based on a true story. Like, in real life. And yeah. Gypsy, she in jail for real. Gypsy Rose Blanchard will be getting out of jail, apparently, December 30th. First. 31st. Yeah. Excuse me. I gave her Bottom an extra up. day. I gave her an extra day. <laughs> right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She bought. She gonna bring in a new year. For real, for real. Just figuring out where to go. All right. Yeah, um, back to a mama house. <laughs> you wrong for that. You wrong. Woo. For that. Oh man. She, she married. Is. What? Ah! Gypsy Rose Blanchard got married in prison. Well, <laughs> I can't even speak. She somebody, better do that. It's somebody for everybody. And you know what? If that ain't a testimony in itself, I don't know what if it is. If Gypsy Rose Blanchard can get married in prison, wait on it. So can you. <laughs> you got it. Right. You got this. Um. All righty. Would you rather lose? Oh no, we did that one. You lost the piece. Yeah, they all go. Right. So this is the last one. Would you rather have a pause button or a rewind button on your life? Oh, rewind, huh? Rewind, what? Rewind. I'm thinking of three things right now that I did wrong that I just need. <laughs> I just need one more chance, Lord. One more. <laughs> I need a half a chance. If you just give me a half a redo. A half a chance. I'll fix the first part and lead a second. Oh, wow. Yeah, I'm taking that rewind. What about you? <laughs> I'm just laughing at you. The way, the swiftness at which you knew Listen, every mistake that you needed to go I, back and correct. I know at least one of them. I know one of them, for sure. You know one of them? Oh, I know one of them. I know you know one I of them. I know one I'm of talk, them. I'm thinking of one from a few, the other week. That was, huh? <laughs> I, oh, yeah, just, yeah, I, I just want to click it real quick. I will I make a li- I will make a list. So as soon as he give me the rewind button, I'm going ch- check it, check it, check it. Wow. What about you? <laughs> okay, so I got some mistakes in my life that I regret. You know them. I, I better say I know. <laughs> I know one of them. Think right now. But I wouldn't go back and change it. I wouldn't go back and change them because every situation in your life. Makes you the person that you are. Oh, he told me that all the time. And so if you change so much about your life to where you have the perfect life, you're going to get back to the future and everything's going to be different. That's facts. That's facts. If I went back and changed one of my, I will not even call it a mistake necessarily, but just like a situation that I was I don't think was it was a in, mistake. If I, if I go back and change that, I would not... You wouldn't be as mature right now. I wouldn't be as mature. This studio would look a little different. Um, where I, well, no, that's, I don't know. It's hard to explain, but like I can identify my relationship with my family would be different. Yes. There is a lot of things that would have changed. And so I, I don't think I would go back and like change a lot of things um, about my life or there's not things that dramatically that I would be like, no, nah, I need a rewind. I would have a pause. You know why? Why? I go to sleep. <laughs> you need that. Anytime Chad. I'm tired, pause. Everybody freeze. I'm just going to sleep. Y'all ain't got to worry about nothing. Right. Y'all safe. Because as pause soon it. as I come back, it's going to be yeah, It's going to be good. We stop. Or I got to be there in one minute. Pause. <laughs> Hop in this car. Let me go ahead and just skirt you around y'all in traffic. Need that. And, yeah. yeah, yeah. I could walk to every job. Literally, just I got take a stroll. Time to, yeah, take a stroll. Yeah. Stop for some ice cream. Ice cream. Yeah, I gotta make it myself though. Ain't nobody there to yeah. pose them, but you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You got the club behind the counter, but it, that's all right. Exactly. But like, no, I I definitely have a pause because that essentially gives you unlimited time. Absolutely. Rewind. You're only focused about living retroactively because even if you still have a rewind button you're thinking about the mistakes that you have now 
but you're living it will call you cause you to live very recklessly because you're trying to make sure that you don't that but up. also you'd be like oh i can do anything because if I decide to jump off this cliff and pop falling to my death, I'm just like, eh, rewind. Oh, see, that's just stupid. But <laughs> Correct. But if you give some people a rewind button, they would be reckless. Yeah. Because they'd be like, oh, yeah, it doesn't matter. As long as I don't die, I can just rewind everything and I can do whatever to anybody and it wouldn't matter. I don't want to live my life looking back and constantly thinking, could I have fixed this mistake? Would I do this differently? Oh, I need to go back and change that. I would much rather prefer living in the present and knowing oh if at any point i feel like i need a break i feel like the pause button is for mental health the back button is for people with regret i'm not trying to live in regret so that makes sense i think i just think that's the biggest thing but you know see your own some people just need a rewind button <laughs> some people need to restart yeah and so that's, <laughs> that's the closest thing we okay. don't want to go all the way back but some people need to restart so you know i i respect a good restart okay i respect a good reboot you know yeah it happens a good reboot, not a bad reboot. Right, 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 Don't right. Don't go back and mess up more. <laughs> Sometimes, right. Just let the mistakes be mistakes. Because you, you, ain't ain't you ain't going to get a bunch of rewinds. This thing ain't unlimited. I mean, the question didn't say that. You might just be living in a loop. <laughs> that yeah, sucks. You can't get past that day, man. Right. Nothing I do. No decision. Yeah, no, Mm-mm. I can't live like that. So, definitely a pause button. But okay. All right. Topic number three. We have one mm-hmm. question. And this okay. is a... It's kind of like advice, but um, this section is, am I the bad guy? People post online and they ask if they wrong. Okay. And we're going to judge them. <laughs> Hardcore. We're going to judge them okay. and answer, are they the bad guy? All right. Meet Billy. Hey, Billy. Billy is 30. Okay. Billy is 30 and single. Billy is 30 and single and lives with his parents. Okay. And works at Walmart. Okay. And he has worked there since he is 18. Was 18. Okay. And he is a greeter. All right. A Walmart greeter. No, I ain't even told you I Billy's predicament listen, yet. I'm listening. No, I said hardcore judging, didn't I? We already I'm, hardcore No, judging. I'm... I, I'm I said listening. he a greeter. You said, all right. Nah. <laughs> what you got against was, Walmart greeters? No, that's supposed to be in my head. Oh, it was supposed to be. But it wasn't. What you got against Walmart greeters? No, nah, it's not that I have anything against Walmart greeters. It's something else. Keep going. Okay. All right. All right, so Billy asked his sister to help him with his online dating profile because he can't seem to find nobody. Okay. He, do you want to hear what he was looking for first or do you want to hear um, what his profile looked like? Both. You just go ahead. Okay. So he said he was looking for somebody skinny, cute under 30 average to high income and they live locally and they must be into anime or gaming yeah okay. and or gaming so his profile only has pictures that are grainy and pictures of him with his parents mostly his mom okay how you feeling so far you the bad guy oh you didn't even no no no, no. We're not asking if Billy's a bad guy. Hold on. We 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 getting there. But just how do you feel about Billy so far? Billy's not the one in question. <laughs> but a bad guy. But but how do you feel? How do you feel about Billy? It seems as though Billy is a mama's boy. Okay. Um and Billy is stagnant because if you're still a greeter and you've worked here for over a decade. Okay, I see now where the Walmart greeter thing came yeah, from. Yeah, the greeter's yeah. not the problem, but... You haven't moved in the You company. have... You ain't moved in nothing. You ain't moved out your house. <laughs> you, you ain't, ain't moved... You, you ain't moved... You ain't you moved ain't at all. Relationship? You, you just moved. sitting and... Okay. But okay, you're a sitter. Okay. Let's Let's keep going. All righty. So, the sister now gets involved because the sister has been asked to fix this profile. The sister said... And then you got the nerve to say you want me to have high income. I didn't even I think about that. I want you to yes. know more than say, welcome to Walmart. Right. You want a sticker. You remember they used to do the stickers? The little smiley face. Yes, yeah, sir. Yeah, the little stickers. I want you to check more than my receipt. Anyways, keep going. Check more than my receipt. Okay. So now the sister comes in. Hey, sister. The sister told Billy 
that. And then I got to be skinny? What if I like hamburgers? I bet you like hamburgers. I'm sorry. Okay, but I like I, I like where you at because the sister told Billy that Billy doesn't need to overhaul his online dating page. He needs to overhaul his life. Period. She said no woman meeting him um meeting his wants. Oh, no woman meeting his wants, like what he wants from someone would want to date an obese 30 year old living off his parents and working at working a Walmart job that is normally given to old people to stay busy. That's what she said to him. So, and then Billy got mad, told the mama, the mama got mad and wants the sister to apologize because you didn't have to tear down your brother when he was asking you to get built up. Now, here we go. What are the thoughts? Is the sister the bad guy? The sister is not the bad guy, but she did use a bad choice of words. We're on the same page. Yeah, like, no. It needed to be said, but it could have been said differently. Could have been said Because it was, yeah, it was received exactly how it was put out. (laughs) But he might have received it a little better if you had to put it out with love. Have you heard of Planet Fitness? (laughs) (laughs) Right. I wouldn't, but the thing is, I wouldn't have even included the obese thing. Have you heard of of, uh, stopping the shows? Correct. Instead of... Instead I mean, of this, instead of ways. Correct. I mean, the old people to stay busy. Now you coming for my grandma, and I really got a problem with you. you, you leave Grandma Deb alone. Dang, that's really my grandma name. I should have came <laughs> up with something different. <laughs> that was the first name that came to my head. Then I realized, dang, that's my grandma. <laughs> leave she Grandma Barbara. Lo- Aunt Bob. Barbara. Let me, let me, I'm going to stop naming names because now it's my whole family leave tree. Leave Grandma Josephine out of this. We ain't got a Josephine. Okay, no, we ain't got. You gotta think that hard. We ain't got no Josephine. Yeah, leave Grandma Josephine alone because it's just it was the way that it was said. It's it it sounds like it was said in cahoots to attack. It was. Yeah, like your purpose was to attack, and (laughs) there was no attack needed. I don't know if there was no attack needed. No, there was no attack needed. Sternness, yes. Assertiveness, yes. Okay. To make sure your point was a, it got across. Correct. But I agree, those that choice of words definitely would have pushed someone down. Absolutely, you yeah. calling them obese is doing what? Telling the truth, but also hurting. no. The truth it's is, hurting. it's it hurting. don't matter what size you are. Mm-hmm. I don't care if you're a toothpick. Don't be stagnant. It doesn't matter. Yeah, it it, it does not matter. Yeah. It, it it don't matter. I and then you don't call mommy. What? What you thought Kim what, was gonna do? And yes, that's my mama. What you thought Kim was gonna do? I said what I said. He didn't. He didn't call mommy. He just went down the hall because he knew. Right, <laughs> right, right. He didn't call nobody. Actually, mommy was in the bed in, in the room with him, not in the bed. <laughs> mommy was in the room with him, cleaning up after him and his hamburgers under the under he the said, bed. Ma, ma. <laughs> Sally Sue said such and such. Right, like yeah. it was just it was it was a bunch going on in there. But I no, agree she's with not you. the bad guy. I agree with you that she didn't need to be mean. You don't need to body shame people. You also don't need to, um, I guess, be yeah, be intentionally cruel. However, everything she said needed to be said. And yep. if you are trying to find other people who are in a better life position than you, you should probably match what you're looking for. Correct. But how do you, how do you want someone that's in a better position than you, and you ain't even near that position? Yeah, you're not even working towards getting to where you're trying to be. You done been at Walmart, which means for you want years. that person to be in that position mm-hmm. so you can get to that, get in their position. He want a replacement off for, of them. He want a replacement for his parents. And, and baby, you can go get that over here, huh? And that's what? and that's the issue. Mm-mm. So yeah, no, the sister is definitely not the bad guy. She just need to watch her words. Billy need to. Ask for a raise, a promotion, a different job description, uh, something. He need to find an apartment, or he need to. Just you do don't even live. Do you could get some roommates or something, but just find but some type of sense of dependency. Something because you don't work at Walmart for a decade. In one more decade, you gonna be forty. Okay. That's true. And I don't know who you think you about today, but let me tell you something. I got one kid. One. Who no. Oh no. One, I, I'm not forty. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah. we. I'm not raising a grown man. Absolutely not. I feel like you can grow. Yep. Like I, you should never expect somebody to have it all together because I don't have it all together. Correct. But I'm not expecting my husband to raise me. No. 
No. No. Yeah, you can't. You can't start with that. You. You need. He. He should look for somebody. He should look for himself. If you wouldn't look for yourself. If you wouldn't put all of your characteristics, Billy, in, in your Tinder profile, take them out. There you go. Yeah. If it ain't matching what you're given. Correct. And also, okay, she so ain't gotta be wrote, skinny. Right. The she first thing you wrote was skinny. All right. Well, we already gonna knock that out because sister said you was obese. But, so that's the first thing. But also, it doesn't have to be just because you're overweight or got a little bit more weight. You ain't gotta be overweight. No matter how you look, you don't have to look for somebody because that you're, part. Not, you're knocking off everybody that don't match your exact image in your head. And that might even. She ain't even gotta be obese. Person she might got, not even be that. She ain't even gotta be obese. If you you if she doesn't match the exact idea in your head, you automatically gonna discount this person. When that could be your soulmate, all because she's not skinny. So that's your like big, you put in your profile. That's the big issue already. Okay, you want under? I think it's under thirty. Under thirty. Okay, cool. You just turned thirty, so you looking for somebody younger. Okay, cool. Whatever. But if she's thirty one, I guess she's gonna hit the road. <laughs> all right. Or if she is thirty, she's right. gonna hit the road. She can't even be you. Um, right, average, yeah, average income. We already talked about that. You need to be contributing a little more to, you know, I don't know how much Walmart greeters make, but I mean, couldn't tell you. And lives locally, okay, yeah, lives locally. And anime and gaming, bet, cool. You got some. You interest. want some? You some want common, some interest? common interest? Yeah, there's nothing wrong with that. But yeah, you started with the the skinny and high income, and you're not even given. Billy's not given. No. Billy needs to give a little more before he can ask to receive. Billy needs to start paying his own phone bill first. And then we'll talk. Because if you say, can't even call me they and... Say Billy wasn't paying his phone bill. I ain't going to say he was paying his phone bill. Well, if he not, we got a problem. Okay. 11 an 11 hour. an hour. Case closed. You ain't got to be... Dis- you not 30. You ain't 30. You ain't... Yeah, you ain't 30. And you still. just started working there. <laughs> right. But yeah, but... You nah. ain't been working there for 10, 12 years. And this ain't me. Walmart. But yeah. Right. Nah, I, That's yeah. actually... What you make is good for where you work. We ain't going to tell you where you work because you better not run up on my sister. But... And we ain't going to tell them... Right. Yeah, yeah. We ain't going to tell them how much you make either. But... Right. Either way. Yeah, that's... That, that's interesting. Okay. Well, Billy... You, you tried to name Billy the bad guy. Before he even, yeah, it was the sister, but the sister's not the bad guy. So Correct. Billy, Billy needs some work. And Billy, technically, Billy's not the bad guy, but Billy, he got some bad expectations. That's it. There you go. Okay. I like that. All righty. Well, we're going to move on to our motivational moment. Oh, let me motivate y'all real quick. This, yeah, this was you. You said you had a motivational moment for this I week. I do, I do. So yeah. listen. Listen. <coughs> I never dreamed about success. I worked for it. Mm. Estee Lauder. Mm. What does that mean to you? Not you came for our whole podcast. <laughs> you came for the whole concept. You came for the whole establishment. <laughs> no, but dream listen. Dream Chaser TV. How's the dream? Dream Chaser Entertainment. No, but this is the dream. This is the thing. We're working. Correct. Because we are chasing the dream. Some people Correct. will just dream black. Like, well, yeah. there's the dream. No, yeah. baby, we chasing it. For some people, it's an idea. It's not an actual thing that they are striving for. So I, I get what you're saying. You got to put in the work. Nothing, no dream just happens because you dreamed it. Exactly. You Every week when we're like, how's the dream? We are literally saying, how did last week's working towards that dream go for you? Correct. The recap. What did you do? What Correct. are you doing? What are you about to do? What are you doing to get towards this dream that the whole podcast is about? Exactly. So, you know, the, the definition of the and the title of the thing is explaining that we are in action for what we are, you know, striving Correct. for. And I mean, that's really the only thing you can really ask for. If you got all these dreams and aspirations, I talked about last week how um, my whole funeral is going to be <laughs> planned out and stuff like that. I'm working for my funeral. I'm working for my life, too. Don't get me wrong. I'm working for my life, but I'm also working for my funeral. Period. I'm working for everything. And so, yeah, you got to chase that. I'm, I've been dreaming about everything. Also, if you like, why is he dreaming about his funeral? Go watch the episode. Go watch episodes. the episode. Yeah. We talked about a lot of stuff, and one of them was my funeral. So, if you want to be in the number. No, he's not dying. Okay. I don't know why I felt the need to add that. You could have left him on a cliffhanger. Is he dying? Oh, my God. Yeah, no. <laughs> that would have been so bad. I didn't want to do that. I'm not dying. Yeah. Why you gotta add the yet, bruh? 
I mean, I'm planning a funeral for a reason. No, my We all gotta go. You better be planning yours. You back there too. You and the camera. Everybody. I already told you. Put me in the ground. Plan your funeral. Plan your funeral. Plan it. Everybody. Plan your funeral. Write your will. Do your do your thing. It'll help you live. Do you have a will? I don't have one yet. Okay. Well, why you? I got a friend named Will. (laughs) (laughs) You got a cousin named Will. I got a cousin. He liked to say his name Will. His name Cameron. Hey, how you doing? To me, you Cameron. (laughs) Did you? Yes, he's still Cameron to me. I can't grow up with you my whole life and call you Cameron, and then you be like, oh, I'm 16 now. My name is Will. No, it ain't. Cameron? What's <laughs> up? And it's all out of love. I just can't. I can't. You Cameron to me. We love you. You Cameron. You can be whatever you want to be. I don't care. <laughs> but you could, yeah, no. Call yourself whatever you want to. But in my head, I remember Cameron. See, me, I go around changing people's names. Oh, you're 16 now? Yeah. You are now Lou. That's her issue. Okay. But my name ain't Lou. <laughs> It's kinda but it, I'm though. a Lou, but, but no. you're a Lou. Yeah. My yeah. name is Ludo, even though my name is Bobby. But it's okay. Everybody's something different. Everybody. You want to go down the list? You ain't got to say who they are in real life. But okay, so name some nicknames. Lou, Boom, Bub, Bubby, Bub Kiss, Bub Kai, Bubba, Macaroni, Hubbin, Lady Dog, Medium Dog, Mini Pup, Sugar Pup, Big Dog. Aunt Patty Cake. Her name was Aunt Wonga Poo, but she begged me to change it, so I changed it to Patty Cake. Um, yeah, I'll leave y'all right there. And these aren't like this ain't like a joke. Like she calls these people these names in real life every time she sees them. She does not call them their real name. And she will refer to these people as the name that she came up with to them as if they're supposed to know who that person is. My name sticks so much. Oh my gosh, we was talking about this on Father's Day at Texas mm-hmm. Roadhouse. My name sticks so much. That everyone else calls people these names. Everyone calls my son Boom. Okay. Um, his my name is gra- not Boom. His name is not Boom. My grandma calls my son Boom. Um, my grandma calls my my sisters Bub. My aunts call my sisters Bub. Yeah, my name's Stick. So yeah, <laughs> don't mean, get named by me. Don't, because you won't shake it. <laughs> Ever. Like a felon and you won't shake it. <laughs> you won't it's shake it. It's up and it's stuck. Yeah. Okay. Cardi. <laughs> you gotta bring Cardi into this. All Listen. Right. What that? This is just a musical episode. We done named every artist under the sun. But yeah, okay. True. Cardi. Yeah, but there we go. But yeah, no, that's that's a good that's a good motivating thought is don't just Yes. Don't just dream. Yeah. And that's you know, you remember John you might you might not remember this, but Who? there was a meme going John Cena when he was on the green screen, but uh, just do it. <laughs> don't let your dreams be dreams. <laughs> you don't remember that? That I was a throwback. That. That's years. This is years ago. I was, I think, I might have been high school or college. But mm. he said, "Don't let your dreams be dreams." Mm. I think that was John Cena. No, that wasn't John Cena. That was um, Shia LaBeouf. My apologies to Shia LaBeouf. I forgot who you were. Oh, yes, I did. But it was Shia Sorry LaBeouf. Don't let your dreams be dreams. Just do it. Just do it. You can't reach the dreams, can't reach the goals without action. No. So apply that. I don't remember what I said the name of this episode was gonna be. Basically Black people don't about. do uh That was the last episode. Oh. See? She giving away the secrets. Lord, I forgot. I don't um, remember. I don't remember, but I'm gonna have to look back. But just do it might be the that might be the, the episode. Okay. Title, but I don't know. We're gonna Period. figure it out. But I think that was good. That's a I guess that's a wrap for yep. for this episode. See you next week. Follow us everywhere. Dream Chase Entertainment, yeah. Instagram, TikTok, TikTok, and Bobby Kearns Jr. on Instagram, and Bobby Kearns Productions. Yup, and the Lux Company CLT. You need nails? Go to her. You need photos and video? Come to me. Boom. You need something else? Go elsewhere. Not. Nah, <laughs> <laughs> but all right. Well, dang. That is it. See y'all next week. See you next week. <laughs>